Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. These are uh, like 4 24 24, yeah, the palindrome. Uh, this is Chief Meteorologist John Nensworth for Longmont Public Media. Wednesday, May 1st, we have a third quarter moon, so you'll see it in the morning, pre dawn sky. Uh, sunspot activity is pretty high right now, lots of uh, small to medium uh, sunspots going on right now. Again, uh, kind of making up for a very quiet period of over much of the recent decade. Looking at drought conditions, uh, getting a little worse out on the plains, a little more down in the southwest. At least for the plains, that's going to turn around quickly with this next storm. This is a very, very wet period we're about to in enter. Looking nationwide, a little decrease of drought as spring rains return. Not much seems to happen in the southwest. I guess a little relief. There's a little bit less drought down there. Smoke, we got stuff from Central South America maybe, and it's coming up with the southerly flow in the plains, but not yet coming back here. Might see it briefly come in before the storm arrives. Again, our quasi animation for the snow. You can see it stayed below and then peaked well above. And then we had some really warm weather uh, over the last couple of weeks with 80s down on the plains and the melting has started. So our streams probably are doing re really well right now. Uh, could be dangerous for tubing and things like that. 85% uh, of normal at this time of year, but this time of year it's supposed to drop off. We are gonna see a lot of snow in the northern central mountains with this storm. So we could see another jog back up to at or above normal. Uh, we did get that good storm. This did look how the model uh, predicted, but it overproduced and we had more snow in some places like five inches or so around the airport um, <clears throat> most people did not see that much but at the end of the week and into the weekend uh, it was an extended period of rain snow mix and then some real snow looking at our uh, severe weather climatology uh, map here we've got the fourth week of april we now have the uh, possibility of severe weather uh, at least to some extent extending right back to the foothills now this will increase as we go through may and june uh, june's our more haley uh, month and in reality we actually have a marginal risk really close to fort collins in the northern i-25 corridor i think cheyenne is scooped into that one and then a uh, slight risk uh, back here in the northeast corner and the tornado risk is, is, comes with it. So we're right back into the corner of Wyoming and uh, northeast Colorado. Today, Thursday, as I record this about day late, um, we have that possibility. We have possibility of thunder again on Friday and Saturday with the storm with big stuff happening out on the plains. We have snow in the mountains Thursday, chance of rain, and then the severe in the northeast. You can see where the front is right there. Just if it backs up a little bit further west, yeah, you could see a few big storms. If it is clear east on Thursday, you'll see big thunderstorms towering up and then moving off to the northeast. For Friday, heavier snow in the northern mountains, rain picking up to 100% chance or 90% chance in the evening, half inch or more, maybe local places an inch. Then on Friday it doesn't change much but the snow increases in the mountains and the thunderstorms continue and the rain continues. It actually is wrong. That should be Saturday. I always miss a little detail. Sorry. So that's Saturday's rain. And there's Saturday's rain. Friday to Saturday just the ensemble see total agreement that rain to heavy rain is happening. Our normals rise from 64 to 67 at nighttime, 36 to 39 degrees. Later next week, we have probably a better chance than this shows of uh, some more thunderstorms and rain. So here comes the uh, <coughs> front from the Pacific, and uh, moist air is present um, and increasing aloft. For highlights, Friday, we have the Thursday uh, low go by, so we do have that, that I'll kick off the severe weather on Thursday, then this bigger trough is coming in on Friday. It cuts off on Saturday, 
no, Saturday night. Let's just uh, got things not quite right. So Saturday night, here's the cutoff low with a big trough not moving very much. So it just keeps pumping moisture, providing lift uh, over our state. For Friday p.m., storms and thunderstorms. Saturday noon, mountain snows, storms and thunderstorms. Saturday p.m., that one's labeled correctly, heavy rain and rain and mountain snows in there. Sunday morning, still uh, rain and snow mix maybe. So pretty pretty wet period. Here we go for the animation. There goes the first trough for Thursday into Friday. Friday into Saturday, this trough deepens, cuts off, rolls around over the state for a day and a half, throwing stuff back at us until Sunday. Then we get kind of a zonal flow, really west to east. And then the trough starts to dig out in the Pacific and we switch to more southwesterly flow with the ridge. You might see some really good temperatures later in the week. And then this approaches, we have another chance of thunderstorms. We're going to see the Gulf moisture return in next couple maps. So here's the temperatures above normal going into Friday. Generally cool um, temperatures, below normal temperatures with the system itself. Not super cold, so we're not going to see 15, 20 inches of snow. That cool air moves off. We warm up briefly Tuesday into Wednesday above normal temperatures. Wednesday into Thursday still very warm. And then here comes the next shot of cooler air for Friday. And they got cool air east and west with warmth over the mountains into the next weekend. Right. Stop it. So looking at uh, precipitatable water forecast, there's the first low kicking back a lot of moisture. There's Pacific moisture, there's Gulf moisture, lots of moisture still over the state through the weekend. And then into next week, it never goes really below normal. It, it remains an elevated amount of moisture. So as soon as we get a chance to get like this surge coming up, there's thunderstorms and some high precipitable water on Thursday, Friday. Dry in the mountains, moist on the plains. Okay, so let's take a look at dew points. You can see incredibly deep rich moisture coming up 60 and 70 dew points down here in Texas. We have 40 and mid 30 dew points through the weekend. So it'll be cool and very moist. Here's still 30s and watch this little surge down here. It's really impressive the dry line that's going to set up in New Mexico and like that. And that moisture just works up to where we have 50 dew points by the uh, end of the week, middle end of the week. This is going to be the moistest air you've felt in six months or more. Uh, look at that. 50, 60 dew points in the be beginning of May, just making it back to the northern urban corridor. Yeah. So let's, let's take a look at precipitation. There goes the Thursday system with its storms and tornadoes. And the next rain moves in Friday night. And just really heavy rain, thunderstorms, lots of moisture through Sunday little shot south of us. We start the week pretty dry and nice. Here we go into Wednesday midday and there's thunderstorms popping up with that rich moisture and more storms on Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. And another round on Friday. So yeah, we could see real spring-like weather with storms forming uh, uh, over I-25 area and moving to the east. I have to look, work, look at the details each time as we go. Well, this is really impressive. So it's been pretty consistent. The GFS is putting a bullseye of high precipitation mounts between Fort Collins and Boulder. And today's run is no different. It's a little heavier than most of the runs yesterday. Uh, three and a half inches of uh, rainfall here and equivalently very heavy snow up here but three inches two and a half inches out on the plains here the two inches all the way out around denver colorado north of colorado springs to the palmer divide uh, pretty heavy rainfall amounts of two and a half three inches so we should see some uh, flood flooding problems uh, high water with the snow melt and this rain just be careful around uh, rivers and streams 
You can see the sharp elevation cut off here, boulder being on the edge of some good snow, uh, Rocky Mountain National Park and like that, a couple feet of snow. Um, yeah, so maybe at the end when a little colder air comes in Sunday morning, we might see some low lowland snow. Palmer Divide definitely gets it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a mountain snow event. Over the next 10 days with the follow-up storms, <laughs> this takes up to four inches of uh, rainfall between Fort Collins and Boulder. I, I, I think that's a little nuts. We'll see if that actually happens. But uh, then out here, even, my goodness, six, almost seven inches of rain. So, yeah, the little drought problem we saw earlier, gone. And even down around Durango in the southwest, uh, we have one to two inches. So, yeah, this is a lot of water for most of the state. Sorry, people on the Utah border and the southern counties. And for the next 10 days, ridiculous amounts of snow. So we start really warm, 70s, 76 Thursday, with the chance of severe weather on Thursday. More thunderstorms picking up again Friday afternoon, with a 90% chance of rain into the evening, maybe half inch to an inch. Uh, Saturday, an inch or two. And then Sunday, a little bit more in the morning. And then we return to 70s and really warm on Tuesday, approaching 80. It's a new month, but I didn't put May there, so I'm sorry about that. I just have label problems today, but I don't have time to re-record. So equal chances of above or below normal temperatures are what um, uh, the weather service is calling for. This is kind of new to me, I think, near normal. So or I guess we're on the slightly above normal of near normal. They do weird things with, with statistics. And for precipitation in May, out here in the uh, plains and southeast, with equal chances of above and below normal after that. So for frequent weather updates and uh, great local news, check out Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.